Hi guys, today we'll be talk, uh, looking at the Bannoni defense. This is a very uh, aggressive defense against the queen, uh, queen uh, white's opening of queen uh, pawn to d4, the queen side pawn opening. So it starts with white moving pawn to d4 and black responds with knight to f6. And white moves pawn to c4. And black moves pawn to c5. There are many variations here. We'll look at all of them. So the first variation and a variation which is not used often is taking white taking the exchange. This is generally not used because black can move uh, pawn to e4 uh, sorry pawn to e6 and take this bishop obviously white can try keeping uh, hold on to it by uh, playing um, pawn to b4 but then you can see that the queen side pawn structure is fully destroyed and this gives black a very uh, good po uh, this keeps black in a very good position so this is not advised and is rarely used. So the actual Bononi defense is pawn uh, is white moving pawn to d5. This is the actual Bononi defense. So uh, then black responds with pawn to d6 sorry he responds with uh, pawn to e6 my bad so there are many variations here so the first variation we'll look at is white moving pawn to d6 this is not a good move for white and it's very rarely used because this can result in queen moving to uh, b6 this attacks the b2 pawn and the d6 pawn so now the bishop can't go and support the d6 uh, pawn because the queen can take the b2 pawn so this is not uh, an advised uh, variation Another variation which is also not uh, often used is the exchange variation. So if you see uh, white taking uh, exchanging in this case, always remember not to exchange with the D pawn but to exchange with the F pawn. Because exchanging with the D pawn will result in black losing his castling. Now black is forced to kill, so black can't castle anymore. So it's not a good move to kill it with the D pawn, but to kill it with the E pawn, F pawn, sorry. So now this can be an advantage when black, uh, black castles. So the rook will have an open flank attacking the king's side. So this is one variation. And let's now look at the most frequently used variation, which is knight to c3. This supports the center. That's the main purpose of this. And black to try reducing the center control will take the exchange. And white will take the exchange and keep the center control. So black would move on to d6 so by moving pawn to d6 we see that uh, black is controlling the black squares of the center like the e5 square and the d4 square so white generally moves pawn to e4 which supports uh, the d5 pawn now has three uh, supports while just one attack 
and black moves pawn to g6. This is to allow the bishop to come here and become a fianchato to bishop. So uh, white generally tends to move pawn to f4 and like trying to con uh, keep his con uh, make his uh, center control stronger and attack the king side of the black. And as planned, black will move bishop to g7 to make so this becomes the fianca to bishop. So this is basically the Banoni uh, defense. So we can see that white has most of the center control while black is focusing on controlling the black squares of the center like the e5 and d4 squares and black should always uh, be cautious about the d5 pawn because this is currently the strength of uh, white and it's leading the center attack a uh, center control so this pawn is always to be uh, cautious of for black so this is basically the banoni defense thank you for watching and subscribe for more videos